So we've seen a lot of confusion around at the moment around whether or not you need to submit a self-assessment tax return. So I thought I'd make this really quick video for you explaining to you the three people who do need to make an SATR submission this coming January. My name is Kia and I'm from Kyra Bookkeeping Specialists. We provide outsourced bookkeeping services to business owners and accountants. So I'm seeing a lot of panic from business owners at the moment, obviously with the deadline looming close. So people are worried, am I gonna miss the deadline? Do I need to make a submission? I'm a little bit confused and I completely understand why. HMRC word things really strangely on their website. You might come across the phrase that says, if you're the director of a limited company, you need to make a self-assessment tax return submission. And that's not always the case. So I'm gonna to explain to you the three people who do need to make a submission, and hopefully that will clarify your situation for you. So person number one is if you've received a lettering post from HMRC telling you to make a self-assessment tax return submission, then yes, you do need to make one. Now, what often happens is that letter goes missing and you might not ever actually receive it. So it's really good practice go and look into your government gateway portal and just see on there if they're expecting you to make a submission. Go ahead and do that. It, it doesn't take very long at all. Uh, person number two is if you're self-employed, and you've been trading between the periods 6th of April 2019 to 5th of April 2020. So if you've been trading during that period and you've made more than £1,000 untaxed income, you need to make a self-assessment tax return submission. So what that means is you've made more than £1,000 in the course of your trade and that money that's been paid to you was not taxed at source. So it wasn't a salary or, or received any PAYE deductions or anything like that. That's when you need to make a submission as well. Person number three is the director of a limited company who has received more than £2,000 dividends in the year or has taken a loan from the business of more than £10,000, okay? So the reason for that is £2,000 is your tax-free allowance for dividends. You can have that, that's yours, that's fine. So anything over that you need to declare because you will need to pay um, dividend amounts of tax on it, so that's 7.5%. And with the business loan, it's not the loan itself, it's more the interest on the loan. So that's when things start to get a little bit more complex. So definitely, definitely, if one of those situations applies to you, go and check that out. Now, if you're still not sure, you definitely want to just double check your position, your situation and your circumstances. There is a link around this video in the description box somewhere that goes already to the government website and they've got a new quiz, which is very, very quick, very, very easy. It literally takes five minutes. Please go ahead, follow that link, take the quiz, and it's going to ask you about your own personal circumstances and it will tell you if you need to make a submission or not if it says you don't take a screenshot of that page yeah or print out the page of the submission that tells you you don't need to make a tax return this year and keep that safe for your records just to protect yourself so i really hope you found this video useful thank you so much for watching have a good day